Good afternoon. Good to see everyone. Um, I'd uh, like to uh, give you an update on the ongoing efforts uh, across the State Department regarding Afghanistan, and uh, then happy to take, uh, take questions after that. So earlier this week, uh, a few hours after the military mission in Afghanistan ended uh, and a new diplomatic mission began, um, I laid out some of the main elements of our plan uh, for this next chapter. Um, here's where we are as of today. First, uh, our new team in Doha uh, is up and running. Second, we're in constant contact with uh, Americans who uh, remain in Afghanistan uh, and may still wish to leave. We've assigned case management teams to each remaining American citizen who's expressed an interest in leaving. Uh, as you know, uh, starting in March, we sent 19 separate notices to American citizens in Afghanistan, encouraging and then urging them uh, to leave. Most of the remaining American citizens uh, are dual nationals whose home is Afghanistan and whose extended families live there. So it's no surprise that deciding whether or not to leave the place they call home is a wrenching decision. Uh, we're also in touch with, with others working to help at-risk people leave Afghanistan. That includes our foreign partners, uh, news organizations, <laughs> private foundations. There are a lot of extremely complex logistical issues uh, to address and coordinate. We're working through them as quickly and as methodically as we possibly can. Let me say a few words also about those Afghans who applied for or may be eligible for special immigrant visas. Uh, there have been questions about the backlog of SIV applicants and why more of these men and women weren't already out of Afghanistan by the time the evacuation operation began.